Today we're going to show you how to remove the the pivot part right here on your charging station and the front cover here for the LED and the circuit board. That LED is actually part of your circuit board. Um, this is just a little protective lens over it. But anyway, we're going to show you how you remove this whole part right here and get into the circuit board on your charging station. So this is a pretty simple procedure. What you're going to do is take out the screw here and the screw right here. They're T20 Torx head screws, so you just need that same T20 Torx bit you would use for almost everything on the automower if you're doing a repair to it. And it's real easy to um, remove all this and get in there to your board. Take this screw out here and see if we can find this one here. Oh, there it is. Not the best lighting there to see the uh, the screw, but yeah, got them loosened up the whole way. They didn't fall out, but they're yep. Need to go a little bit more with that one, I think. There we go. Got them out of the way, and then after you you push the button there and you release the top to. Um, flip it over like you're going to check your guide wires and your boundary wires and everything. Then you just wiggle this and lift straight up on it. Now that's going to come out and then you see here you have your power wires going up to your uh, your plates for your charging port um, on a charging station. So you're just going to unclip that and that whole top part there is free and clear and removed. Then your charging station, you have this plug right here, and then this one over here, which goes down to your your antenna. And this big one here, this is the one that goes out to your, your boundary wires and your guide wires. Then to remove the actual board itself from here on this charging station, the 400 series, you got these two little tabs right here. You're gonna just unclip them, push that back, pull out gently on the board, and there you go. That's your charging station circuit board uh, for the 400 series of automowers. The 300 series is a little bit different. I mean, it's the same style. You know, to, it's the same process to take everything apart. The board is just a little bit different. You don't actually have this in here because it's more of a, a lower profile circuit board. This is the inside of a 300 series charging station. As I said, it's a, a little bit different design of the board. You have your, your three plugs here, but the board is down here in the lower part. It's not up here around the uh, the wires coming in from your low voltage cable. So this is the, the 400 series board, which goes up, you know, whoops, got upside down here, which would go up there like that. And uh, you can see there's a there's a bit of a difference there between those. The, uh, the 300 series is a little bit lower profile, as I was saying. So that's it there. Uh, that's the difference between the two of them. Now, one thing to remember, when you change the board, you're going to have to reconnect or resync or repair, whatever the term is you want to use for it, the auto mower with the charging station. So you're going to have to go through there, uh, through the mower's menu, create a new loop signal, and <clears throat> that will sync the mower back up with the charging station with the new board then. So then to install the board into the charging station, what you're going to do is you have these these little slots right here on either side and there's a little fin on either side of the charging station housing and you're going to push your board all the way up to the top there so that you can line up those fins into the slots while you're holding up on the board keeping it in place just pry out gently on these little tabs so that your board can clip in there and they'll hold it into place and there you go your board is in there it's secure then you're going to plug in your uh, plug here for your antenna wires and then the plug for your uh, guide and boundary wires then you have your positive and negative going to your your charging plates for your uh, mower and you're going to plug that right back in here and now the thing to notice here is what makes this very 
unintimidating is the fact that you have those three plugs that you you unplug to get this board out. All three of those are different, so you can't put the wrong plug in the wrong place or anything. So this is a pretty straightforward uh, process. Then, same way you remove this is the same way you're going to put it on. You're going to make sure that your wires are kind of out of the way there and not going to get pinched or caught up. And you're going to get everything lined up into place. And then you're going to just slide this back down so that the little three little fingers on the bottom line up with the slots on the uh, the tower for the charging station. You can latch your lid and then put your screws back in there. There we go. That's it. That's all that's involved with changing the uh, charging station board on a 400 series or 300 series auto mower. Um, same way with the all-wheel drives or actually even the 500 series, same thing. So as you can see, it's pretty easy and it doesn't hurt to, especially when you bring this in for the winter time, uh, it doesn't hurt to take this off and just clean out in there. Uh, a lot of times you'll you'll find like ants and cobwebs and spiders and other kinds of creatures and critty crawlers in there and it, it's always good to just clean that out you know so our charging station is all back together and you see how simple that was to do that um that's really it there so we hope you learned something from this video and as always if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below in this video or you can shoot us an email roboticmowerservices at gmail.com we do get a little backed up from now and then, but we do try to get to as many uh, questions and, and help you guys as much as we possibly can with that stuff. Uh, any parts inquiries, you can also send anything you're looking for to roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, and we'll try to help you out and get you parts as quick as possible. So that's going to do it for this episode. Um, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your support, and thanks for watching.